y'all it's your girl dr nina beautiful brown baby doll and we all want that clear glowing healthy looking just uh, skin you know what i'm saying my skin has come such a long way over the years and i'm so impressed with where it is today and how i've been able to maintain it now it does not take rocket science not at all but it does take work and so today i will talk to you guys about some of those over-the-counter products as well as natural products that you can use to help you on your healthy glowing skin journey make sure that you comment share and also subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. make sure that you come back on all thursdays and some sundays for video uploads also make sure you turn on your notifications so that you know when I upload so look if you're trying to achieve the bombest skin on the block the work that's going to be included is the CEMTM method while there's so many methods out there this is the one I found that's been tried and true for my own skin and for getting it to the level where I wanted it that's cleansing exfoliation facial masks toning and moisturizing before I go into a full-on cleansing or exfoliating method I like to make sure that my skin is as residue free as possible so I use the Garnier skin active micellar water I just used to go over my eyes and my eyebrows over my face and my neck to make sure that all makeup and traces of it are gone you can find all links to any products I talk about in the information section though I use other face washes my main one of choice is purity made simple mainly because it's water soluble and it works well with my face brushes anytime I need to exfoliate for today's exfoliation I'm going to be using a brush you've seen in many of my videos my vanity planet ultimate skin spa which I love for the price the durability and the fact that it comes with three wonderful brush heads that are used for exfoliation daily cleansing and also for unclogging your pores and I always share with you guys so if you want to give this brush a try make sure that you check the links down below and get 70% off with my link I start by making sure that I've added enough cleanser to the brush and then I dampen my face all over to prepare it for brushing I move the brush around in small gentle strokes around the bottom of my face first because I have normal to oily combination skin and I also tend to get hormonal breakouts around the bottom area of my face I also move up to the forehead and the t-zone area where my face tends to be drier and that's why I love this brush because it treats so many different types of skin when I rinse off the purity I make sure I rinse upward and mainly because it makes sure that your skin doesn't sag this helps to avoid unneeded wrinkles and fine lines and then I pat dry not drag dry my face with a regular boundy paper towel because I like paper towels because they seem to house less bacteria than common everyday towels causing less breakouts and supporting clear glowing skin we've safely moved through c and e c cleansing should happen every day and every night and exfoliating should happen at least two to three times a week and now it's time to get into my favorite part of the process which is putting on a mask they make me feel absolutely relaxed pampered my skin always feels amazing so i'm going to show you all how i did this i'm one. excited you guys because vanity planet just released three new all natural organic clay masks and they sent them to me about a month ago to rotate throughout my skincare regimen they sent the flower child or the rose moroccan red clay mask they also sent me the wild women or the activated charcoal clay mask which i was most excited about because i had been wanting to try activated charcoal and specifically a more organic and natural option i was pretty impressed that they were offering clay powder over wet mud and if you get clay powder as i've discussed in previous videos you get more product for your money because there's no water added and you can add in your own ingredients like water apple cider vinegar or even oil depending on your skin type i only had to use about a teaspoon of the mask a little bit of water and a little bit of the apple cider vinegar I didn't use oil because my skin already is acne prone and around this time of year it tends to be a bit oilier this charcoal clay mask is recommended specifically for those with acne prone or unbalanced skin and when you're done mixing it it should look a lot like this thicker consistency so I know you're probably thinking why all the fuss the great thing about charcoal clay is that when it mixes with any liquid of your choice especially apple cider vinegar it activates on the skin and helps to draw out impurities the great thing about any of the these vanity planet clay masks is they're going to help to tone and detoxify the skin which is going to make your skin appear brighter more illuminated and also more glowing as you guys can see application is simple I just make sure that I avoid my eyes so that it doesn't get into my eyes it's recommended that you let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes or until you start to see it drying you don't want it to dry all over your face because it can dry out your skin Do you like my face 
Make sure that you rinse thoroughly to see that beautiful, bright, glowing skin. And with the Vanity Planet mask, you can expect to get about five to seven uses out of each jar. And they're only $15 with my link found down below in the description box. And now over on Vanity Planet, I have a personalized page, which allows you to see all of the bundles as well as each of the items, which is 30 to 70% off. The discounts are given at checkout. And I hope you guys will try them out. As always, I love my Ultimate Skin Spa, but now I'm pretty impressed with the mask as well and I think you will be too. Now if you're interested in trying them both you can get them both for the discounted price of $49.99. Now we have completed the step of the mask and we can move on to toning which I do every day and every night before bed. Toning is usually super simple for me as I usually reach for witch hazel or apple cider vinegar. I'm hooked on apple cider vinegar because it helps to fade dark spots fast and I just take one part apple cider vinegar and two parts distilled or boiled water and voila you got your toner. I keep this mixture only up to about a month and of course all you need is a cotton wipe and you wipe it across your face until everything is toned up and all residue from your face has been removed now that toning has been completed which should happen every day and every night you should move on to moisturizing which should also happen every day and every night when I want to have just a little bit more of a glow to my skin I add aloe vera gel under my moisturizer at least three times a week this improves the blood circulation to your face and it nourishes your skin and it also helps you flush out toxins my daytime moisturizer is usually the renewed hope in a jar and my nighttime is the Aveeno active naturals positively radiant overnight hydrating facial here lately to brighten up my glow I've been adding in the Aveeno absolutely ageless eye cream and also my rose hip and hibiscus eye cream I start by making sure I add a generous amount under my eyes of the eye cream and I make sure that that's been rubbed in and rubbed upward so that I don't draw my skin downward to sag and this has been helping with the fine lines around my eyes and crow's feet and I also rub in the same way the moisturizer making sure that I rub upwards on my face but also make sure that the face takes in the moisturizer so holding the moisture around my lips I just take some Vaseline with cocoa butter and make sure I put that on right after all moisturization has happened and now that all steps have been completed including moisturizing I can leave you with some last minute tips for glowing skin one of the biggest things I do is to make sure that I wash my makeup as well as my makeup brushes weekly and thoroughly. I use Dawn antibacterial dish soap and also my Practic hand mat and I just wash my brushes thoroughly and put them out to dry overnight. I spray over the top of my makeup with alcohol in order to clean it. Now, some of us have great genetics and it doesn't matter what we eat, but for me, <laughs> I know when I ain't eating right. You should also make sure that you're getting plenty of exercise. At least 30 minutes or more per day, you should be active. I notice that my skin glows more and more. You got them pheromones going, you got that sweat going, going you getting all them impurities out so your body is enjoying it people walking around like who is that glowing girl she just glowing and if you feel like you're not getting all the vitamins you need through your food take a great multivitamin i like prenatal beauty rest when you sleep your body rejuvenates your cells rejuvenate you stop looking older you more in tune you feel better which means you look better so sleep just gives you everything to make it do what it do so that's all I have for today. Make sure that you check out my links to the Ultimate Skin Spa, also to these wonderful clay masks by Vanity Planet. I think you will be so glad that you did, especially with my discount codes, yes. Make sure that you share this video with someone you think can use it, comment and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll, peace.